Hi, my name is Chris Bradshaw from Hexagon. In this video, we'll take a look at the integration between CADWorks Structure and GT Strudel. We'll see how to generate a GT Strudel model directly from within CADWorks Structure, including all of the relevant member and material properties. We'll also pay attention to the important differences between the analytical and the physical model. And then finally, we'll make some changes inside GT Strudel and see how to input those back into CADWorks for a true bi-directional interface. My colleague Ravi will take us through this process. Hi, in this presentation we're going to take a look at GT Strudel and CADWorks integration. So this is a CADWorks structure model which is supporting two pipes and we want to analyze this T post that's shown here, very simple support inside GT Strudel. To export this model to GT Strudel, you need to first click on export button in CADWORK structure. As a result, you'll see a GT Strudel option in the command mode. Let's click on GT Strudel, and as a result, it'll ask you for members that you need to export out. So we're just going to draw a rectangle around this T support, right click, and it'll ask us to save this as a GTI file. I'm going to store it as tpost.gti and save this file and replace it. Now let's start uh, GT Strudel. So for that I'm going to launch GT Strudel through this icon. Now once uh, GT Strudel has been loaded all you need to do is click on GT menu and that'll take you to the front end of GT Strudel or the graphical user interface of GT Strudel, which is GT Menu. Here inside GT Menu, we can click on File, Read Input File, and let's go to the location where that file is located. So it's on my desktop under CWS, and there is this tpost.gti file. I'm going to click on Open and Done and there's your t-post. Now if you press I on your keyboard you should be able to see an isometric view or you can press this isometric view option in the views window on the right hand side okay so two ways so you can just click in the graphics and press I and and you should be able to do that so now you can also select members in the graphics like this so I've selected three members in the graphics uh, you can uh, see click on redraw solid and you see uh, that we have not only created the wireframe model of this T post but we've also created uh, assigned properties and assigned uh, eccentricities to these uh, members uh, so uh, another thing to note about this model is like you see there are two beams that represent the top of this T post okay that the beam of this T post uh, consists of two analysis pieces but on site that is actually one member right so if we go into uh, CAD work structure you see this is like one piece right now here if we go to physical option and then click on that beam it's actually one piece okay so the f this is actually showing your physical representation of that beam uh, if you go to analysis uh, analytical members you see two pieces right now let's uh, uh, just to go to uh, edit and member data okay here we can just click on section properties we'll just modify the section properties from W21 by 44 to something else okay so I'm just going to add new and if we go to AIC 15th edition code uh, WAIC 15th catalog uh, you can just scroll down and let's say we want to select a 12 by 26 okay and we click on store click on done and then we click on W 12 by 26 and okay so now we have successfully changed the size of uh, of all the three members that you see here but actually two members physical and we want to take these changes to CAD work structure now okay so for that we need to exit GT menu okay so click on exit GT menu save these changes and then you can click on file export CIS slash 2 okay 
and you can save this file in the same directory let's say uh, where we had stored the um, GTI file we'll just say Z up uncheck this box all members as physical members click on OK and click on yes okay so once that's done then you can come back to uh, CAD work structure and inside CAD work structure click on import import select import file then you click on gtstrudel.stp file that was just created uh, and then click on open import without defaults okay and here you should see the changes listed okay so let's sort by property and you you see there is there are all these changes okay of new members that were added okay so we can just click on first click on all of them and we're just going to reject all those changes then we select the ones that have changed okay uh, there's two members that have been changed okay we can just change that to w12 by 26 from w12 21 by 44 hit accept and import and when you see import you see now the size of that member has changed okay so you can see in this output that is no longer uh, uh, yeah I mean it was 21 by 44 but now you can if you double click on it you'll see that it's now 12 by 26 okay and same applies to this member this was W21 by 44 now it's 12 by 26 All right well thank you Ravi now I hope you found that video useful but remember if you do have any further questions please don't hesitate to reach out to us at Hexagon thank you for watching mm -hmm.